going to be talking about body fillers, uh, polyester body fillers. There's a whole clatter of different ones uh, on the market, there's hundreds of different types, but really they can be broken down into two separate groups. You have one polyester filler, which would be called a two-pack, where a hardener would be added to it, which would mean it would chemically dry, and then we have uh, a 1K product, or an air dry body filler, usually used for very minor and small work. So what we're going to do is we're going to work our way through the process and just, just tell you uh, basically the functionality of them. We'll also want to take in uh, some respirators for sanding, dust, and also uh, a better quality one for doing, say, spraying, primer, that type of stuff. And also nitrile gloves, which would be a better minimum for using these kind of chemicals. The body filler is known by different names. In the trade, um, in this corner of the world, we would refer to ISO, Isopon, P38. So this particular body filler would be really, really popular during the 70s. As technology has improved, also the fillers have improved as well. So we've P38, the most basic one, uh, and then as we move up the line, we have likes of stoppers, uh, 2K stoppers for doing finer work. Uh, we have fiberglass fillers, where you'd use them maybe would be on car bumpers, um, on boats, uh, RTVs, caravans, that type of stuff. Where not only do you need to fill something, you also need to put a bit of strength back into the panel as well. Um, and then we have what we, what we refer to as a stopper, an air drying stopper, which would be a 1K product. You don't need to add a hardness to this product, you just use it straight so you can pour it out or squeeze out the tube and you can apply it straight to the, um, to the damaged area. Normally we'd only use this product for scratches and very minor dents. We mentioned earlier on that we could break down the body fillers into two groups. 1K single pack which is air dry and 2K which is a chemically cured one where you use a hardener. We're going to start off by showing you the basic one, the simple one, which is the 1K. This particular one, 3M, is very good. It's used by a lot of professional body shops. It's a bit expensive, but it's good quality. Then we have um, a cheaper version, which is ideal for DIY use. If you're just touching up scrapes on your car, this is bang on, this is perfect to use. I'm also going to show you an onion board. What that is, basically, is a load of paper sheets which are glued together. We use this for mixing our body filler onto. When we finish with, the, with the, um, the filler, when we finish mixing it, we can just tear off the sheet, put that into the bin, and then we have a fresh sheet to start with. The reason why it's important to, to use something like this when you're mixing body filler is that in the old days, a lot of guys would use a piece of cardboard. The cardboard may have dirt in it. It may have moisture in it, which happened a lot. So as you're mixing your product, the moisture or the dirt was, was going into the filler, you then put it onto your repair area and then you have a problem for it down the road. So it's better off to have good hygiene and to avoid that type of thing. These things are not expensive. Or we're going to squeeze a small bit of filler out onto the onion board and then we're going to use our spatula and then we're going to put it into the scrape. Okay, we've just applied that filler on. We would need to leave it dry for about 30 to 40 minutes, maybe an hour if we wanted it, and then we'd start the sanding process. We would use, we'd start with P80 grit sandpaper, 120, 180. Then we'd uh, at that stage move on to the priming and painting process. That's something we'll show you in a later video.
If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.